Hey guys, I'm going to be reacting to, hope you're doing well by the way, God bless, going to be reacting to a KKK Nazi today, so, trigger warning, trigger warning, um, if you've had experience with the KKK or Nazis, or combination of the both, of uh, both, um, then, you know, maybe watch another, make a playlist of my videos and watch them other videos and watch them on repeat. But, um, you know, Samuel J. Hyde, um, Samantha Hyde, as uh, she prefers to be being, being called now, um, has done, has said a lot of uh, times, you know, emphasize get a skill. And I think a lot of his viewership is sort of like 20-ish, maybe late teens kind of uh, guys um, into which I would fall in that demographic. And um, there is, uh, there's a lot of uh, either poor direction or no direction for guys like this. And there's a lot of, uh, especially for American guys, I mean, uh, if you go to other countries, they don't like hate white men like they do in America. They people really, really hate white men in America. I, um, you know, it's a bit funny because because Sam Hyde makes fun of like Brazilians and Portuguese and in, in videos and stuff like this. But I lived in Brazil for a while, and they actually were very receptive and super kind and nice to me. Like I didn't, I kind of it, it was this almost a paradigm shift to reference another video of his. To kind of see that, uh, to kind of experience um, what the world would be like with, without people hating you just upon sight, uh, it it was it's almost like um, like an episode of the Twilight Zone or something. Just had deja vu, but um, you, I would suggest everybody you know travel outside. Uh, Anybody who's a white male, at least, travel outside. You know, other people do that too, but you probably won't get as much of a drastic, positive societal um, change as if you're a white male living in America. Um, people were actually happy to see me in Brazil. People are like... And other places too. I you know I I lived in China for a while, and um, I mean I'm in Europe, I pretty much just blend in. Um, but people people at least didn't seem like they hated me when they saw me, whereas I feel like in America that's the norm. Um. And uh, anyway, to get back to um, the point with Sam. I think he, he gets so much contact from people who are really not doing very well in their life and they kind of look to him as a father figure or um, a uh, sort of a mentor, older big brother or something like this. And um, I think he sees a lot of guys kind of like j just, uh, how do you say, um, floating around, just just not really have any good direction and they're kind of like wasting time and energy and money or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I heard him say get a skill so many times. And it is, I do think it's one of these, it, it, it is at least for your basic sort of necessities and, and to cover like money and things, it's extremely important. And... Um, It is a very simple sort of idea, but I think most people don't. Um, I don't know. They 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 just need to have something said to them to kind of really get it in their head. And I think he makes a really good point in that, like, he talks about, uh, you know, take advantage of these opportunities that you're given, and, uh, you know, if you don't. 
if you're one of the people who can kind of enjoy anything, you're in a really great position because you can you can pick up a, a skill that's that's valuable and really go at it 100% and make a really good a lot of solid amount of money, you know. If you, if you're just something if you want to do something like a trade that's something like fairly straightforward or I don't want to say straightforward, but it's like something that most people can pick up. You can make a really good living and you can expand and make, you know, it, you don't have to expand, but you can. You know, you can keep uh, building up a business, maybe get other employees and things like this. Or you can just be really good at that one thing. And, you know, if you are known as like an electrician or a plumber or uh, you know, whatever, somebody who installs things, if, especially if you can build up a reputation online, um, you'll, you can make like so much good money constantly, consistently, you can set your own hours and things like this, and I mean, I'm just, that was just one example, but, whoa, my screen just went off, um, you know, uh, if, uh, Trying to think of some some examples. That, I mean, um, you know, there's other stuff that's that's you. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of a great example. But if you want to do like something in the business world, like be an accountant or be like, uh, I don't know. Um, there's some stuff that's not so straightforward. Like if you want to be a CEO of a company, you know, work your way up or something. You can get, uh, you can build up smaller skills to get there, and and, and figure out the pathway to doing that. If it, even if it's not so straightforward, but if as long as you get, and that that might be a profession where it's more like small skills put together. You know, dealing with people, kind of making judgments, um, kind of uh, logic and and things like this, and and planning. You know, I think that those apply to a lot of jobs, but if you're trying to do like a CEO type thing, um, you know, you'll probably build those skills up over time in a company. And um, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm getting a little too specific here, but I do think what he says is a great point. And because you can keep, while you're doing those things, you can keep kind of doing self-development things. And also can be much easier to get to to pick up uh, you know get great advice or wisdom or or, or develop yourself um, if you have some money from a skill that you've developed you know you might be able to get a good um, psychologist counselor um, uh, you know you can. I mean, now there's so much information online, but if you wanted to, you know, get something that was you had to pay for, that you knew was a good resource, then you would be able to do that. And if you, if you're just sort of floundering, that's the word I was thinking of. Look, thinking of saying earlier, then you're, um, you know, you're going to be in trouble. Um, eventually, probably, maybe not. You know, some people, things work out fine, but. Um, yeah, I don't know uh, if this uh, would help anybody, but I felt like making this video. And um, Sam's stuff is uh, much uh, funnier, but uh, I think what he's saying is, is a really good point. You know, get a skill. Um, if you can, you know, get all everything in order before doing that, if you know you can, or, you know, okay, but most people... You know they have it's a long term thing, kind of self development and acquiring life knowledge and stuff. And so if you if you mm, you probably will be more struggling if you don't have some sort of a focus. And your focus may be just hey let let me figure out how to find what kind of skill I want to develop. You know that might be your focus for now until you can get to the point of developing the skill. Uh, one thing I learned is like, just you can do something, you can always do something. And if you, if you, it can go even further back than that. If you can't, if you don't know what to do, 
then your job right now is just figuring out how to know what to do. Um, and that can be a long thing. You try to make that as short as you can, but for me, I still kind of feel like I'm in that stage. Um, but I'm in a position to where I can... <sighs> I'm able to take a little more time than most people. I'm thank, pretty thankful for that. Hallelujah. Um, but, you know, I... Uh, I... I'm a pretty rare instance in which I don't, I'm, I don't... I feel like I have to do something different all the time. Um, and so I'm, I'm kind of finding some joy in, in making the YouTube videos and um, trying to... Uh, kind of figure out placement of myself in that realm and if it's the right thing to do I've been finding some traction so I'm very grateful and happy about that we'll see how things go and um yeah I don't know maybe this will help somebody um I'm pretty much you know just reiterating what Sam is saying but I'm kind of I just just kind of saying my thoughts and kind of breaking it down a little bit so yeah, I mean, um, I think the most important thing in life is like kind of figuring out what, trying to figure out what will happen when you die. But uh, it might take a while to do so, and uh, if if you you know it, it, you can you can do that in. It's something that I even think about. Um, I, I go, uh, you know, um, I mean, this this video could go on like much longer, but like I'm Christian and um, I uh, I believe what it says in the Bible, but I I also believe that uh, you know, in terms of people going to heaven and hell, I believe that God is fair. And people ask, you know, about uh, what about people who uh, haven't heard of God or people who are mm, good people that, uh, you know, just didn't accept God and and things like this. And I know I don't like God is fair and that I think they'll be given a fair opportunity to choose. the right or wrong thing to do. Um, and I don't know what that looks like, but um, I do believe that's the truth. So anyway, the video took a turn, but thank you very much for watching. Comment if you want. I like talking to people. And like if you want. And uh, subscribe if you want. And um... Yeah, love you. Have a good one.